Welcome to the BMC Remedy Force Customer Success video series on when and how to create custom report types. In this video, I will provide you with use case scenario in order for you to understand what the goal is in this video. Then we will try to determine where we need to go to retrieve the data required to fulfill the use case scenario. We will then create a custom report type. And finally, we will demonstrate how to format our report in order to generate several different charts, all providing different information. So let's begin. So here's the use case. You have your headquarters in New York City, but also have offices in South Carolina, San Diego, and San Francisco. Your IT manager would like to have a report and possibly a dashboard that can tell him in which area of the country are his end users having the most issues. He would also like to see what type of issues they're having. So this sounds like something we need to do using the incident report type. So let's have a look. So let's create a brand new report and we'll search for the incident report type. We'll click create. Now, if you look on the left hand side, try to find a field called city. You won't have that. If you try to look for uh, you know, country, you don't have that information on the incident report type. So how can you create the report for your IT manager if you don't have the fields available to you? So let's have a look at the incident itself to see if we have any of these fields available to us. So in the console, if we're looking at the client detail section, we do have Sally Smith, but we don't have a city or location for Sally Smith. Granted, you could create a field called city and state, but why? We already have this information as a single source on the user object. Let's have a look at the user object for Sally Smith. You'll notice that she has an address of San Francisco, California. And if you click edit, the address field is a combination of the city, state, zip code, and country, and street address if you had one. So why not use these fields for your reporting? Well, let's see what we can do. So since we already know that the incident report type doesn't have any of the user fields we're looking for, we'll have to create a new report type. So just go to Setup, Create, Report Type. And what you'll see is a list of current report types that you have in your org. Since we know the report type we want doesn't have what we need, we'll just create a new report type. So we'll click on New Custom Report Type. And the first step here is to select your primary object. In this case, we're going to select the incident object. Then we want to give our report type a name. So we'll call it Incidents with User Information. And we can put a quick description here. But for now, we'll just call it the same as we did for a report type. And then we need to store it in the folder. Most of BMC's report types are stored in the other reports folder. So we'll select that and we'll click next. So this next screen allows you to select other objects that are related to your primary object. Since we selected the incident object as our primary, this drop-down menu will display objects related to the incident object. But if we look closely, we won't see the user object anywhere there. There must be another way for us to do this. So let's close out of this screen and click on Save. So after you've saved it, you'll see another option near the bottom that says Edit Layout. And if you click that button, this will bring up the Field Layout Properties page. This will display to you all the fields, in this case, 128 fields, that are available to you during the reporting. But if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see an area that allows you to create a new section. So let's create a new section and we'll call it User Fields. We'll click OK. So now that we have our new section created, we'll click on the Add Fields Related Field Lookup right here. And this will allow us to select the fields that we want from the user object. Now, the, what we're looking for are the fields from the client ID. So we'll look for client ID. And here are some of the fields on the user object. So we're going to look for city. And we'll select country. And perhaps state. And 
and maybe you want to use time zone. And we'll click OK. So now you'll notice that the fields are added in this section. We're just going to drag them over to the new section that we created to better help us during our reporting to look for those fields. Now we'll go to the very top and we'll hit Save. So now that we're done creating the report type, we're going to click on Edit one more time to make this active. So we'll go from In Development to Deployed, then we'll hit Save. Now we have access to this report type when we create a brand new report. So let's go there now. We'll click on the Reports tab, and we'll select New Report. And now we're going to search for incidents with user information. So we'll select that report type and click Create. Now, if you look on the left-hand side, if you collapse the fields from the incident object, you'll notice the user fields, the four fields that we added via the lookup. So now, let's create a report. So we're going to select All Incidents. We're going to go with close date equals current fiscal quarter, which is fine. So we know that the IT manager wants to see incidents that were raised either by city or state and also wants to see the types of issues that were reported. So let's start by bringing in the city and state fields and perhaps the category field as well. So let's type category. Now at this point, we pretty well have all the information we need. So we're going to start grouping this. So we're going to change this from tabular format to matrix once again. And we're going to drag the city field to the far left and perhaps the state field right next to that. That'll group them all together. And near the top, we'll put the category up on top. Now we can do as we did to our other videos and we can hide the details. So now let's click on Run Report to see what we have. So you'll notice we have the city and the state listed there. And across the top, we have the categories. So this should be enough information to give our IT manager what he needs. So let's save this report. We'll call it Incidents by US Locations. And we're going to store it in our BMC Revenue Force Reports folder and we'll hit save. So now that we created our report, let's see how we can display this in a dashboard for our IT manager. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a new dashboard and we're going to change this to a wide format on all three of these because we're going to be using all three. So in our first component, we'll bring in the pie chart and for the data source, we will look for our report that we just created incidents by US location. So just by pulling in that report, we notice that this is already broken down by city. So let's give this a name of incidents by city. Our next component, we will do the same thing and let's see if we can divide this by state. So let's pull in the same report and we'll grab the same components, but this time we're going to modify the component. And we're going to go to the component tab and for the wedges, instead of auto, we'll select state. And we'll click OK. And now we see that the pie chart is displaying the states. So let's name this pie chart incidents by state. So now let's put a third chart here and this time we'll put the horizontal bars and we'll grab the same report and this time we're going to change this report a little bit. We want this to be by the categories but now the categories will vary by city so we'll change the y-axis from auto to city. We're actually going to group this. We're going to group this by category and we're going to select the stacked version. Now, just by the sample alone, you can see it's what we're looking for. It displays the cities along with the types of issues they're having in those cities. So this looks good. So let's click OK. And we're going to call this one 
category by city. So now let's try to make these three charts consistent in the way they look. Looking at the first one, this is giving us a count. This is kind of hard to tell from an IT manager's perspective where the focus needs to be on. So we need to change these counts to a percentage. So let's click on the little wrench and change the formatting from values to percentage. So while we're here, we're going to change the legend position from the bottom to the right side. And we'll click OK. And let's do the same thing to the second chart. We'll show percentage and we'll change the legend from the bottom to the right. And let's see how this looks. So this looks pretty good. Now looking at the third chart, I'm not too sure the naming of this is correct. So I'm going to add incidents by category and city. But again, you can name these to whatever you feel best suits the, the dashboard or the, the chart. But I'd like to create one more. So let's scroll down and to the left. And we're going to add another component using the same report. So we'll grab the same report we just did and we'll change the component and we'll bring the table component in. And you'll notice by default it's already sorted by the city and the record count. But we need to add a third column. So let's click on the wrench and see what happens. The first thing you see is a message highlighted in yellow that says to customize this table first add a chart to the source report. So in order for us to add any additional columns, we need to add a chart to the report itself. So let's click on OK. We're going to save the work we have now so we don't have to do it again later. So we're going to click Save and we're going to call this dashboard Incidents by US Locations. And we're going to save this to the BMC Remedy Force folder. So now let's close this and let's go back to the report itself. So we'll go to the reports and we'll click on incidents by US locations and we'll click customize. So in order to get the table we want, we have to add a chart to this report. So the first thing we're going to do is click on add chart. So we'll leave everything like this, except we're going to group this by category and we're going to stack them. This allows us to have additional access to the other groups. Now we'll click OK. And now let's save this report. Now we can close it and return back to the dashboard. And we'll click on Edit. And now when we go back to the table, if we click on the little wrench, you should notice that you have Customize Table option. So if we select that, what we're looking for is city, category, and count. This will give them the total count of all the tickets by the city and group by category. So city, and we'll change this to category, and we'll make this a count. So we have city, category, and count. And if you want, you can add breaking points, which would highlight these a certain color. But for now, this is pretty good. So we'll click on OK. And now you'll notice this table displays the city, the categories, and the record count. So this table is basically a combination of all three charts. And we're going to save this dashboard. Then we'll close it and have a look and see what it looks like. You notice that I didn't give a title to the table, and that's because it's kind of a summary of the three charts above it. And I believe this dashboard will suit uh, the request made by the IT manager. So this concludes the video on custom report types. If you have any questions, please contact your CSM or email us at remedyforsuccess at bmc.com.